Hi, Taurus. It's Athena. Welcome back. Okay. Are you ready? September 2020 for Taurus. Listen, I want to send you much love and blessings and also stay safe. Please. I don't know why. I've never done this. I feel like we need to really move your energy around. I have never done this. I'm being guided to just move this energy around. Is your energy... Are you complacent? What's happening? I've never done that in any reading ever. So I feel like your energy is needing a reboot. It's like you need a, you need a, um, you need to get jumped. <laughs> In a good sense, <laughs> I feel like your energy in all seriousness, Taurus, I love you guys. I feel like you need like some, a boost, you know, like a, a startup, a boost. <laughs> that was, um, I don't know, for some, maybe that's what you need. I don't know. No, sh I'm not throwing any shade over here. <laughs> All right. The message for the month of uh, September across the board is love. And why is it so simple? Because that's what it should be. Simple. Loving yourself, loving others, loving family. Love comes in different shapes and sizes and different way the way we feel about different people. Um, changes, right? So it transforms, it grows, right? Love grows. So the love that the love that um, is happening now, right now in September of 2020, is is going to be that of um, what universe wanting to grant you that that understanding of love and how deep how deep and how sacred that love is overall right and not to utilize and not to just see love as a jump start you know what i mean right to be more cognizant of how deep love can get and that that love is not just being in love, but love is also, it's all encompassing, being in love, body, mind, and soul, right? Okay, Taurus. Let's get started. Taurus. Oh, mother. Okay, so the first thing I thought of was a mother that's on the other side. A mother who is passing or has. It's not a surprise. This is not a surprise. This is a mother who might be not feeling well. This could be your mother. This could be also a mother figure, mother of your children. It could be... Um, yeah, it could be someone who was pregnant and has lost the baby. And I'm sorry if that is the case. I really am. This is the love of your mother. Are you missing your mother? Um, is your mother not feeling up to par? It doesn't mean anything like it's going to happen, all right? Don't jump to conclusions. If this is a mother figure or what have you. Let's see what else is coming out. Maybe she's just feeling under the weather. Maybe she doesn't know where her next dollar is coming in. Are you concerned about money, Taurus? Or is it about you want to start something new with a mother figure? Maybe you want to re rekindle a romance with someone who is a single mother. 
right? And you want to rekindle. She's got kids, whether it be dogs or what have you. You see Mother Earth here all over the place. Are you worried about a job? Have, has someone lost a job? Is money going out to a mother, right? The, the baby mama, is it child support, alimony, what have you, that you need to constantly be giving money out to? And you can't seem to get like your footing, like a grounding, a footing of where your money is going or whether or not a new beginning in money is happening. Oh, it's marriage. Wow, it's a commitment. So you're not saying, I think you were ready. Oh, geez. Okay, Taurus, if this is you, you were hoping to pop the question and it's not happening. Someone was going to get engaged and now they chose not to. This could be a divorce. This could be the end of a marriage. This could be the end of a commitment. It doesn't have to be marriage. It could just be a, a long-term commitment that is not working. Oh, gosh. What is going on? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Maybe this is why your energy is so all over the place. You needed to walk away from this, and that's why. You're feeling really, here's the deal. You're needing to walk away from someone that you were in a relationship with and or you wanted, you were getting ready to get really serious and want to have a new beginning, a new future with someone, but that's not going down. It actually went south. Your commitment to the relationship is, is also about, was it more about your stability? And was it really love? Or was it about, what can I get from this? And I'm not saying it bad. People do get in relationships because they want the financial stability. I mean, come on, I'm not gonna lie here. So Taurus, did someone get into a relationship with you or is someone draining you financially? I'm saying baby mama or whoever, but you needed to walk away from this relationship and or commitment. The vows have been broken. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so has the, tr the gravy train. You stopped giving of your time, effort, and what have you to a relationship because it's done. It's done. And this is what I'm trying to explain for September. We are in a um, Saturn is stationed in Capricorn right now, right? That's their ruling planet. So guess what? Karma is being handed out to everyone. No one, sorry. My nose was itching. Maybe that means that, you know, is someone lying? To me, that's someone lying. Someone was lying thinking that they were going to get away with, they were going to get away with it all, and they didn't. Okay, what else am I getting? So you needed to walk away because the investment that you were putting in, you were not receiving it was not being reciprocated, okay? Someone was in it, and I'm going to say it. I'm so serious. Someone was in it just for the money. Was it you? Because this is the Empress reverse. That could be you. That's Taurus Libra. I think you were in it for that reason. For the wrong reasons, guys. And also the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone had some, maybe there was a, maybe there was drama between a baby mama and, a, and your significant other, like step parent, 
or just dating someone and she got in the way of your, like, you know, there's loyalty, there's disloyal. Someone was being disloyal. Is it, is it, who is it? Someone's not telling what the real reason they wanted a commitment or is, was in a commitment with you about. Here's the sacrifice. So Taurus, did you and or others sacrifice so much for this commitment and this connection? And it has, it has literally thrown you off course. That's exactly what I feel like energetically. That's what I have never met, mixed the cards like that. I usually just shuffle and they go upright or not or reverse. You got too many people in your business. That's for sure. And that's what it was. Too many people knowing your financial business. You sacrificed a lot for this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But in essence, they were in it or you were in it for the wrong reason. So this is like this Eight of Cups is finally... I think you're finally coming to that understanding. You're coming to grips, even though you're not gripping on anything here. I think you had to get literally disheveled to understand the sacrifices that you made for others and the loyalty, either yourself or others. And this is a lesson. This is your lesson, Taurus. Your lesson is the sacrifice you made for others financially, emotionally. You sacrificed. And it's, it's interesting because Aries had the same thing. So you could be dealing with an Aries. I'm just saying. Because this is my sacrifice. You sacrifice much time and effort to a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, to a Taurus Libra, another Taurus, a Libra and or Capricorn Virgo. I think you were ready to commit or you did commit and it just folded. Let's take this one because I saw it. Justice. It's not balanced. Someone has more financial stability. The other didn't. It was all about that pooling of the energies, right? There's the change. What's the change? Is that you can't be considered the sacrificial lamb anymore. This is you. You will, your karmic lesson, Taurus, is never to take advantage, never to be taken advantage of financially and emotionally and that is that is why you have put out so much of your efforts or someone else did and it was done out of i'm gonna say it greed someone was greedy were you greedy someone here wanted you for the wrong reasons look at that Yep. So with the justice being here and all of the money cards here, it is clear to me that there's no love. And obviously the money is and or your time with someone is limited here. And this is a lesson. So injustice for all. So it's going to have to go to court. Some of you might be dealing with a court issue here um, or just basically wanting justice for giving all of everything to another or vice versa someone single so someone has been set free from a commitment from a marriage and the, the reason for this for you is 
to see, Taurus, is to love yourself so that you're not ever in a circumstance of this nature again. This is your karmic lesson. And I did not mean to make this reading a karmic lesson reading, but because, you know, Saturn, Capricorn's back in Saturn. It's, the, it's his ruling planet. It's all about the money and the value. Taurus, you guys are just, it's, you're all in, all in that umbrella of groundingness. And now you look great or someone is feeling great right? Someone's looking great. Someone feels great. And look at her face. She's like, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's exactly what happened. And never to cross her again. Look at her eyes. I'm not joking. She is, she sees, she has seen the vision of others' uh, motives. And she says, not today. So there is a shakeup, a breakup for sure here. And it is either between a, a couple, either a the baby mama is getting involved in the relationship and it's going to break away. Someone was trying to get a relationship going with, with you or vice versa because of all of your it's probably your money. I'm serious. Just saying. Taurus, you guys know how to make money and you know how to save your money. So someone was in it for the money. And whatever payout you had to, to endure, right? How you see love. How you now see love. Sorry. <laughs> is going to be your moving forward. Because you've learned a valuable lesson. Through every season comes a time of that justice had been served. You may have you may hear of someone who is like, you're sitting pretty. I think this is you sitting really pretty, feeling really confident about the growth and your opportunities. And someone either takes too much time, effort, and money from you and has exhausted you and feeling you feel disheveled and there it is i mean come on right where you had to jump you jumped ship or someone else did let's take this one right someone felt like they were just bound bounded but bound by the wrong things you didn't see it you didn't see this taurus you were in this self-imposed jail. Yep. Someone had a third party. Look at this. So now we have, and this is why I feel this is a, this is the feminine got used by the masculine. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone got played. And this is, and also, and I'm going to tell you Aries. So if this is a married couple and someone came between this union, it's here. And it could have been an Aries. Or another earth sign. And of course, a water sign. I am telling you right now, maybe someone was married and you didn't know it. Ooh, I just heard that. So, this is someone misusing their power. And now the truth is going to set them free, set you free. This is you. I feel like you saw something in writing. You put it in writing. Someone's been documenting. You got the justice card here. And you have a lot of people in your, ooh, book, maybe bookkeeping. Something about your books. Someone's been fudging the books. Yeah. And you don't see it. 
but you're not you're not putting up with this at all like it's done so this could feasibly be someone is trying to get justice for what someone took advantage of you or vice versa but as it's happened and i'm telling you this this could be something that you've already experienced and the tower is happening because with Saturn being stationed now in its own sign of Capricorn, I'm telling you right now, Saturn is, is your lessons. So you've learned truly a valuable lesson about how, how resourceful that you are and that you can make your money and how you hold on to your money and how... Others are involved in your, you, they want to be in your financial part of your sec, you know, your life and, and take, took advantage of it. And bookkeeping, something about bookkeeping, writing, looking at maybe this is final, maybe someone's, this is the divorce, signing the paper, signing your, your name on the, on the, dotted line you didn't see you didn't know someone was taking money from you maybe in your business maybe you are in a job with someone who you had no idea was taking advantage of you financially it could be have already happened but too many too many people in the five of wands reversed next to the justice are you kidding me Way too many people knowing your financial business. So now you're reviewing, reassessing what, how the motives of other people and or your own. How do you see love? This is how self-love Right through each season, we love ourselves differently every day. It's like changing your clothes, changing your hairstyle. The way we value things changes all the time. The only consistent thing is change. So that's why this tower happened. Someone was hiding someone. Or there's a hidden gift for someone in the form of a significant person coming in sadness and ending in a new beginning that's what's going to happen that's what happened here someone is reflecting on their past and why you're 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 like doing a like a little mini life review of your of why someone lied to you why someone stole from you what would be the motive right well it's money obviously. Did they steal ideas? This could be also. Look, money and ideas. Hold on. But I'm telling you right now, I think this is someone's me messing with the books. Oh yeah. This is bookkeeping and not telling. This is like accounting ledgers. Someone's been in your business. All right. I'm trying to keep these under 25, 30 minutes. So let's just get one oracle. This is just one. Oh, wow. That flew out because you need it, Taurus. You need peace. You need peace. You have, you have been through a lot. That, that's just, that's an understatement. The card reads, dissolving, unwanting, or disturbing thoughts, which is right here. So don't try to get back at someone, just saying, because of what they did. Find peace in your heart to let it go. Release it. Look, release it. You need to find peace, right? There was definitely some shade 
shady actions going on, Taurus. And you are finding out about it, or you already have, or you've already experienced it. And this is your karmic view, your life review, you know, your a little mini life review of what peace now you have in your heart after you've been through this or you're going through it. Have a great weekend. Um, I'm sending you much love. And if you do need a reading, just text me. Bye.